Maxim, a smooth positional win against Felix. Take us through the game. Oh, I don't think it was that smooth uh, to begin with. Um, uh, I mean, I obviously, is, I'm not ready to play against the French, you know, even though I'm a Frenchman, but uh, I think I, I messed up something in the opening. My position was okay, not really suspicious, but uh, after I went to the end game, I mean, he has a perfect bishop, he should be fine. But already after C4, I was not uh, unhappy to see D4 on the board. I think if he takes on C4, and that's some, um, you know, uh, legitimate point. Uh, uh, plays for e4 to activate his bishop. I mean, he might be a pawn down, but it should be enough activity. Uh, yeah, enough activity f at, at the very least. So, um, but then I uh, suddenly had a bind, and uh, he tried to sacrifice an exchange to to create some sort of fortress. But uh, I just don't think it exists. And uh, in the end, uh, I was happy to find this uh, little uh, uh, tactical trick, uh, including one takes e4, and then uh, my my pawns on the queen side uh, march through. And uh, when you traded queens, uh, were you positive about the ending? Did you feel that you had chances in the end game? Well, as soon as he played d4, I did. But if he had taken on c4, uh, I really didn't think I would win, to be honest. And uh, But the problem is I already had no other option. <laughs> and when you played g6, breaking his structure further, that was, uh, that was an interesting moment because that kind of um, made it difficult for him to defend all his pawns? Yeah, I mean, it was a point, of course, because uh, I can already grab the pawn on e5, but I'm not sure it's enough. I mean, it's clearly better for me, but nothing like uh, decisive. And I was already looking for something uh, concrete because his pieces were uh, awkwardly placed. And uh, yeah, then I think he, he reacted the best. Of course, he gave up the exchange and uh, managed to you know, consolidate his center, but uh, I had to bind on light squares, and uh, I think that uh, was what cost him at the end. Uh, it's always nice to start the tournament with a first round win. What are your plans for the evening? Well, there's a dinner, of course. Uh, I shall attend with uh, my fellow Frenchman, and before that, uh, we'll see what, uh, what we can do to bring some animation. <laughs> Any casino plans with the fellow Frenchman? Uh, we already had some in the last two days, so I think to, today is rest day. <laughs> All right, well, enjoy your evening. We'll see you back here soon. Yeah, thank you, Tanya. Thanks, Maxime.